that's only fans like what's up with that like i saw it i don't know i saw instagram oh thought, you're talking about logan yeah Connell. like what's up someone in it, the pits oh, what's up i mean a pretty good sponsor i think so yeah so like, backstory explain it rod what is only fans <laughs> backstory here you know so he had he had a uh, bike deal and everything through a dealership in Ohio, this Logan car now. And they basically, something happened in breach of contract, whatever it was. They pulled his bikes from him. He went out and bought his own bikes. Then he kind of was looking around for sponsors because he's doing it all on his own. Uh, I don't know how the conversation started, but he, I think he reached out to her, said, hey, would you want to, or no, she reached out to him, said, hey, I'd like to sponsor you for Supercross Round. And then her, her at her name is on his main shroud logo at this is Indy and uh, with a little cartoon butt. And uh, then he, I guess she saw quite the return on investment. Yeah. And the next day she had a bunch more subscriptions after he posted about it. And then this past week in St. Louis, he had a whole separate uh, set of girls <laughs> and he did a whole photo shoot with it. And here's another one where she's riding nude on the back of his bike. Before anyone gets real freaked out, I got to tell you, I have the program for the 1989 Miami Supercross. And that was the race where Bradshaw falls like five times and still wins the 125 oh, class. Yeah. The back cover, Penthouse Magazine, the sponsor of the <laughs> event, the, the 1989 Miami Supercross, Penthouse Magazine. So this, yeah. is, this is nothing. And that's like a Playboy? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, this brilliant. Is nothing new. Yeah. Well, you don't know what a Penthouse is? Did you just catch that? <laughs> really? Yeah. How? How? I how old he are you? He said, is that that's, like a play? That's why he's here. That's yeah. why I like him. Like, it's trust it. Ben House on there. Holy I mean, he's a millennial. Like, whatever. Uh, but, Gen Z. So yeah. do, do, you think that, do you think that this approach would work for the Butler brothers? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> they might have to go that route. But, like, the, I guess the, the part is, is, is that awkward conversation. Like, okay, how did y'all meet? Like on there, like he slipped into her DMs. Yeah, like you were DM, <laughs> like you had to become a subscriber, right? Like something, and I mean, only fans would know, right? Like it's working. Maybe yeah, I mean, it's it. You talk about like yeah. how different life is and the age and and kids now. Like you got kids say, like, "I want to be a YouTuber." Like on there, make I mean, millions of dollars. Like what happened in like being a CEO of four to five hundred? Like all these. Back in our day, I guess dinosaurs, it seemed like their kids just sit in home and talk on podcasts and do this and make millions. And, and now you got a guy who's pin only OnlyFans doing that and then killing it. I don't know who this dude is, but I know his sponsor and he's on this show. <laughs> and uh, so, so whatever the marketing, it's working on <clears throat> there. And so people that sit back and, and laugh at that. Jeez, oh, like this is this is the way the day the, but, uh, the world is. Don't but, get offended. Butler Brothers may need a new title sponsor. Yeah, like I mean, I just think like open doors, open D's, A B's, booty cheeks, whatever it is, <laughs> just open it all. Like it's we all fans, we all family. So they here, they're growing this sport. This this Logan Carnal. guy, Carnal guy. He's actually a good. He's yeah, he is like, a great dude. He's a good guy. He's a good he's dude now. Smart too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I bet he's got a lot more fans. Yeah, I guarantee. Yeah.